Long ago, when I was but a child, having conquered the command prompt hurdles of many a game with a monochrome screen computer, I was gifted for my birthday a more advanced system with which to play more complicated fare. I launched a game for the first time so many moons ago that laid much of the groundwork for my gamer's self-love for RPGs as well as fueling the hunger for challenge and exploration. Such a monumental influence was instilled. I never knew the adventures I would later find myself steeped in, whether it was electronic or with pen and paper, all because of that fateful day. But I have borne a terrible burden since that time, something I must be rid of. The truth is, it is a game I have left unfinished for over 20 years. That changes now. Now with that dramatic intro out of the way, it's time for another one. But first, I actually have to boot the game. See, back in my day, we had to boot our games from a command line. None of this put the disc in and play bullshit. Oh man, this is going to be a treat. It's been years since I played this game. Wow, look at the graphics! Is that a statue of a guy naked strangling a snake? I hope that that's a naked statue of a guy strangling a snake. Looks rather inappropriate. I'm just gonna stand here, lady. Don't you have something to say? I forgot the title. Let's uh, cut in first. Jesus, 1993. I feel super old. Shadow, swamp, gloom, and vine. A fog does rise to cloud my mind. To hide the pride I seek to find. Oh, ancient orb, where rest you now? Well, if you opened your eyes, maybe you'd be able to find lady, it. I have answered your summons. Yeah, I mean, I am prepared. you were standing right yes. in front of her. I see it. A place of traps to crack brave bones. <laughs> well, I'm not going there. there <laughs> you can count me out. Far, far away. In a galaxy a long time ago. Uh, what are you gonna use those purple glowing orbs for? Ah, not the face! An ancient dungeon, and within it lies the orb. The map kind of looks like the profile image Strong of an magic. elephant. And I got the ears, I got the trunk. Now, what will you be paying me eye. to fetch the orb? Like the elephant is tripping on some serious drugs right now. There oh, lies oh, gold oh, and gem oh. enough for any man. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't do jobs without some sort of payment up front. You'll pay me now, or I'll never get there. Exactly. I need horses. <laughs> Coach fare is not cheap. Let the journey begin. Oh, what? You're gonna throw me in there, pants or not? You're just gonna. That, that's not cool, lady. You expect me to come back with the orb? And I'm disintegrated into a fart cloud. Right into the eye of the elephant. I have a pretty serious suspicion that I'm going to be dying. A lot. <laughs> oh man, I remember this. Eh, teleportation travel won't do that to you, but you'll get used to it after a while. Oh yeah, and the ominous skull befaced death fortress. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be filled with all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things that want to greet me with edged weapons and poisoned teeth. Ah! Swamp Troll! Yeah! Fucking 
punch that bastard. Knock him the fuck out. Bring on your worst, dungeon. I am ready. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not even ready. Oh, man. Yep, here we go. I have never in my life have managed to beat this game. Not once. I've played it so many times back when I was a kid, and now as a grown-ass man, I am going to actually make the attempt. So let's go ahead and create a character. Because that's the only way to do it. Gotta roll them bones, get my stats, pick my class, and all that jazz. And throw myself into what will probably be a meat grinder. If my experiences with AD&D have ever taught me anything. <laughs> Jesus! I forgot how many classes humans aren't allowed to have. Look at that massive block. They can't dual class, so it's just like, eh, all these extra talents? Nope. And might as well be a fighter. Neutral. Neutral. And now, we get to pick from all these wonderful character portraits. I wonder if I can find one that kind of looks like me. Are you for real? That's, that's the ultimate warrior! He's got the face paint and the face and the intensity! You know what? I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta pick him. And naturally, I have to name him. If I could fucking type right now. Damn it, I can't type at all! <laughs> oh, yeah! And you know what? Let's go ahead and customize uh, the dungeon. Um... Hmm... Actually, all things considered, this looks okay. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Oh man, I'm I'm actually getting the feels right now the the anxious kind. Like this really does take me back so many years, like twenty two years. Good God, I think just about loading dungeon. Load the dungeon with the monsters! Fill it with the warrior! This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be kicking ass as the ultimate warrior in D&D. &D. I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure that crazy bastard would be proud. I wonder if he knew that they used his, uh... face as a character portrait. I think I would... I, honestly, I would be totally stoked. You're immortalizing video games, man. Well, to be fair, I mean, he is immortalized. Oh, hi. How's it going? No. I know over the past couple of years, they've had, like, ooh, a clear potion. I should probably just drink it and find out what it is. Strange, weird, viscous substance in a jar or a bottle that I found inside of an evil, monster-filled... Death trap. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Uh, but to finish my sentence, there's. Ew. I hope that's mud, not like diarrhea or something. Walls are made of hardened diarrhea. At least in this tile set. There are a lot of horns. It's getting kind of horny in here. Um, well, that's where that one goes. I know that over the past couple of years they've had a bunch of new wrestling games that specifically have had like older WWF superstars and Warrior has been among them. You know, right in the middle of battle gonna drink this. That was mildly refreshing. And yet it looks like it did nothing except take away a sliver of my food bar. That's bullshit. Ow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Miss. My god. This is it's this is retarded. Finally, Jesus. I was botching my roll every other second. 
And it may seem like I'm being stupid and bumping into walls, but it kind of sort of is because I'm looking for illusionary walls. So bear with me. You're going to be hearing a lot of grunting, I'm sure. And, uh, including noises coming from me in panic. Versus though something caught its dinner here. Yeah. Either that or somebody had a serious nosebleed. Tends to happen. Uh... One thing I gotta point out is that with my computer that I had growing up, it was my first exposure to this game. I didn't have speakers, or for that matter, if I remember, I didn't even have headphones. And I didn't get the chance to hear like these little noises or the fact that the intro had music. Ooh, black leather boots. I'm just going to put these down. These are more fashionable. But um, I never got to hear these sound effects that were in the game. And it just adds another, like, special layer for me. Ooh, an arrow. And that goes right in the quiver. i got to admit, playing this game at, like, 9 or 10 o'clock at night when I was, I think it was roughly 5. When I first was really playing this game. This would have been unsettling as all hell. Yeah, I need a purple gem for that. Just hearing the growling monster noises and the opening of doors. Especially if I couldn't see them, if that is indeed a thing. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, son of a bitch. Ha! Ah. Yeah, hard stepping right up on you. Want some too? Yeah! The warrior is unstoppable! You know what? I gotta admit, it's a little lacking not having any kind of music, so... Why don't we go ahead and change that right about now-ish with something I, I, I would think is appropriate. Yeah! Yeah, that works. That's perfect. Ah, ow! Oh shit. I'm starting to get my ass kicked a little. Keep bitch smacking him. Oh my god, come on, hit him! Ugh. Seriously bringing back some unfortunate, uh... Like unfortunate memories playing AD&D. Just cannot get any kind of any kind of hit. Ooh, shit. Lots of red keys, and I don't have the key for that door. Ah, there we go. Oh, look. Oh, God, it's a murder room. Okay, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Well, everybody file file online. <laughs> oh, there are more of them. Oh, come on, don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on. Oh, no. Uh, woo -hoo -hoo. Cutting it close, come on! Yeah! Alright. Can't remember. I guess there was one more in here. Ow! Oh, fuck that! Nope, 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 nope. Time to retreat! I gotta camp. Yes. <laughs> oh man. That could have ended so very, very poorly. Jesus! What did I take a coma? to rest 120 hours. 120. Well, it's good to know that I was able to take such an extremely long nap in this hallway and not get murdered. Come on, you big ugly... ugly <laughs> what I meant to say was big ugly red bastard. 
What is that? Oh, I thought that was an indent for like a secret switch. There are doors in uh, parts of these randomly generated dungeons that do have like a hidden switch that's on a wall near it. Now it's time to check my map. One of the super cool features about this game, as well as if I remember some other uh, TSR RPGs, is because they were often randomly generated, you'd have this awesome map screen, and you could actually save the map and print it if you're able to, which means you could use the map along with, you know, having this nice little handy key to play an adventure in AD&D. Of course, I've never had the opportunity to do so because I never owned a printer. And, yeah, it was... I thought it was super cool and also it's very handy. I mean, actually having something like this. So, looks like I gotta go all the way back. I got this. Yep. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't have that key. That's a dead end. I should have been actually paying attention to the map to see <laughs> where the open doorway is. Okay, I got two over there, which means I am on the right track for that one, but then I have to double back for that. You know, before I get hit with the lawsuit, I should probably do this. There we go, that's better. Royalty-free, after all. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Warrior's theme is badass and all, but... Oh, right. I'm gonna have the gem for that one. Fuck. Ah, ah. Nope. Hit and run tactics. Come on, bitch. Are you stepping on me, huh? Come on. On. Oh. I'm certainly wrecking house. And probably just because I said that, I am gonna get slapped. Probably bump into something like a fucking carrion crawler that hits you with poison and whole person every other attack. Ugh. Or a ghoul. A ghoul that gets whole person on every attack, it seems. I remember that shit. I... I think I actually almost broke my uh, first keyboard that way because of all the, like, obnoxious things that I ever had to deal with. I'm guessing that's golden key. Yes, it is. Fucking... Oh, I didn't open that one. I know for a fact I didn't open that one. <laughs> Oh, that's the way I came. Is it? Yes, it is. Getting turned around. But, uh... I remember one of the most frustrating runs that I ever did way back in the day. I think it was, like, three or four levels deep. And I had no idea just how many levels down the whole damn thing was. I ran into a ghoul, and the ghoul proceeded to... Oh, it's a murder room! <laughs> Fuck! Come on! Shield, actually do your job! Oh, they're, they're starting to smack my ass. They're not even going to pull my hair. Uh, but I, uh, I ran into a ghoul... That every time that it would attack me, it hit me with a whole person, which means it couldn't attack. And then, sure enough, it just kept chipping away at my health until it got a critical and killed me. No matter how many times I backed up and waited and tried even throwing stuff at it. And that's actually another thing you can do. I wonder if I can do it here. Yep. Ha! If the shield's not working to protect you, just throw it at him. It'll, it'll work out. 
It'll work out. Got another red key. What's this? Another red key. All right. Uh... Go ahead and camp again. Taking yet another coma. And I'm trying to remember where the purple door is. If I'm not mistaken, it's right here. So, whoop, whoop. And I see something that needs to get killed. Mm. By the way, if I'm moving kind of weird, uh, for those of you that never played a old school RPG like this, in some cases, there are some new school, old school RPG games that follow the same trope. You can actually use the arrow keys for movement. It's just turning corners. That's the thing that you need. Like, all right, I don't have to keep for that. Fuck. But uh, you can use the arrow keys for movement along with the mouse. Particularly, you need to use the mouse anyways for left and right turns. But if you're paying attention to, say, like the map, like I am, then you can pretty much just sail on through <clears throat> all of this shit. <clears throat> shit. <clears throat> While also bumping into every single wall. <clears throat> Didn't say it was perfect. <clears throat> I think this is the right way. No, it's not. Wow, I'm a dummy. <clears throat> I'm a big old dummy dum dum. I got this. I got this. <sighs> okay, admittedly, I just got a little bit of like. Uh, I wouldn't say C. Uh, not C sickness or motion sickness. Just like. It's fucking with my head. Uh, there we go. And granted, I'm probably going to find the key on uh, to the door on the other side in this murder room, so. Wow, right off the bat? Okay, hard stepping on me, motherfucker. Miss. Eat my shield! Yeah! That actually worked. And it looks like there's nothing in here. Uh, this could be a serious problem. If I don't have the key, then I can't open the door, which means this run was generated to be impossible. What the fuck? Unless I'm holding the key and I don't know it. I'll have to see about killing him. I'll have to poke around and see if there's an illusionary wall. Alright, that's where the boots are. Looks like that's my only real option. Yep, there's there's the illusionary wall. Robe. Actually, why the fuck am I picking that up? I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior! Ooh. What's up, motherfucker? Bam! Ooh, silver piece and rations. Actually, no. Go ahead and eat him. What's up, motherfucker? Yeah! And he dropped iron rations. Awesome. That's it. Well... Looks like we're in the same predicament that we were in before. No key, which means no open door, which means I'm fucked. Wait, wasn't there like a alcove over here? Did I miss it completely? Hmm. I 
That doesn't look like it. We have a serious problem here. Yeah, I hear you grunting in there. Basically, every single wall I can possibly have space next to it. Ooh. I gotta test to see if it's an illusionary wall. Oh, boy. I'll look at the map again. Well, he's already hard stepping over to where I am. Pretty confident there's nothing over there. Can't remember whether or not monsters can drop keys. I hope they can. What's up, brah? Eat a shield! Yeah, one Captain America on your bitch ass. Why was I trying to attack the wall? Can you just imagine a big, like, brick shit house of a guy with war paint on just walking down a tight hallway and nudging it with his shoulder repeatedly and grunting? I know it's around here somewhere. Find this illusionary wall. Uh, believe me, I'm sorry that you guys have to listen to the constant grunting, but... Them's the brakes. Come on. Ugh. Ow! Eat shield, fucker! Boosh. So far, no dice. This is turning tragic, people. There's no illusionary wall near here, and I've got maybe... Oh, boy. Um... If I'm not mistaken, I already checked here. So, my only other options, really, are to double back, check around here... And hope that one of these monsters drops a key. If not, this is a rare case of the game creating a dungeon that you can't beat because it doesn't spawn the friggin' key that you need. Ain't this just magical? Oh yeah, I already checked this hallway. Ha-ha! There you are! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, ow, 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 ow. Whew. That hurts. On second thought, maybe it's a good idea if I retreat right now and maybe try and rest. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh no, oh no, oh fuck, oh no. <sighs> Just gonna cycle right on out of there. <laughs> Taking yet another coma in order to regain my strength so I can go adventuring forth. Nope. And pop, miss, throw a shield. Yeah! Wow, this is actually a lot more effective than I was expecting it to be. Ha 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 ha! 
got another one. Jesus. The shield is getting is slowly but surely getting a higher body count than my sword. You know what? I'll take it. Five gold pieces says that the stairs aren't here and that instead I have to go all the way back with the key that I just found that I was trying so hard to find in order to get out of here. Got some rations. That's always good. You know what? Eat them. Oh shit. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Oh fuck. No. Oh no. This is a terrible thing to have happen. I'm sandwiched between enemies. Nope. 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 Please. Woohoo! Oh no! Woohoo! Oh, 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 that was. Oh fuck. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna happen again. That was legit. Tense as fuck. Ooh! An axe! My axe! Time to chop some fuckers. Ow. Oh, hit and run tactics. Getting a little tense in here. Damn it. Missed. <laughs> but that didn't. <laughs> I found yet another key. And it appears a solid wall greets my face. My crow magnum forehead. Okay, let's go ahead and camp, take a coma. Ugh. Because of the computing power at the time, what it was that, you know, I, I had, I mean, I had a computer with Windows 3.1. That antiquated thing, you had to actually launch from a DOS prompt. I, and even before then... <laughs> I mean, I mentioned what kind of computers I had before. This used to take a lot longer, just because it, the hardware wasn't accelerated, or it, it didn't have the computing power to push behind it. So even getting up to this point was probably about an hour's worth or more of gameplay. Ugh. Time to break camp and go kick some more ass. Nope. Aha! This stone seems strangely round and like a button. Perhaps I should press it. Click. Nope. 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 I assume this is a murder room. After all, the key is red. Ah! Hard stepping on me. Come on, dude. Think of my blood pressure, okay? Uh... Fuck you. Stop missing. Oh, God. Uh, uh... Shit. Oh, no. More of them. Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah! I got a helmet. Another amulet. You know what? I already have one. And yet another red key. And it's a murder room. What is that in the corner? Okay, that's that's just stonework. Uh, there are a lot of them in here. <laughs> um, well, everybody takes their turn. 
Uh, I may have to bitch out back down the hallway if it gets messy. Uh, it's getting messy! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Anybody else? Oh! F fuck no! <laughs> oh, that's a dead end. Nope! No! <laughs> There's a troglodyte in there! I don't know whether or not I should save before this possible fuck apocalypse. Oh my god, there's a lot of them in this murder room! <laughs> if we keep getting crits like that, it should be good. Damn! Two in a row, alright. I'll take it. Uh, nope, not that time. Oh, come on! Yeah! Now, where's that... Oh, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, motherfucker, of course. Please. 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 Stop missing. Oh, no! It is time to retreat. <laughs> oh, no! No! It's right behind me! Shit! <laughs> I'm so happy that he missed. This is turning into a bad time, bro. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Oh my god, are you for real? I am so fucked. I am fucked. <laughs> well, I backed myself into a corner and... <laughs> I am, uh, I'm not doing so hot. I God, can I dual wield? No, I can't. God damn it. I was getting hot to trot, and now the game is punishing me for it. Uh, come on, you fucking... I'm gonna start throwing items out of my stuff at you! When they don't fucking miss. Oh, come on, dude. Miss, 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 miss. <laughs> come on. I gotta summon the power of the warrior! From parts unknown! And run tactics, son of a... Son of a bitch. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, just salamander looking motherfucker, come on. <sighs> this is not good. Ugh. Why won't you die? Oh my god, finally. <sighs> What's the scrape potion? My nose is tingling. Okay, uh... Okay. What did that... Uh, 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 uh... Oh? I can't tell if it highlighted the monsters, or it might have just highlighted illusionary walls. Fuck if I know, I... Uh. Oh, wait, no. My nose is tingling. It's pointing out there are rations around. I think. Or items. I don't... Fuck, I don't... 
No. Uh, protection from level drain. Eh, I should use that. Yeah! Parchment. Fire-based packs do not seem very effective against the shambling mounds, wet and slimy nature. Well, it is rather damp. Okay. After that rather harrowing experience, we're back on track. For the most part. Uh, I did see that massive number of red dots. Oh, hi. Ow! Yeah! And already off to a bad start. And then I totally wreck his shit. Seriously, where the, uh, the hell are the stairs? I'm gonna get out of here. Nothing happens. Well, this is useless. <sighs> oh, that's gotta be a murder room. Well, might as well do this. Used up all my rations on the first level. <laughs> this is not going well at all. I'm pretty sure that this is not going to go anywhere uh, the way I want it to. I'm still going to make a go of it, though. Okay, it isn't a murder room. Ah! Well, it looks like you got a friend. Yeah! Jeez, this is just a fucking party down here. Hey. They had somebody behind them? Oh my god. Oh, go ahead, step right up, take his place in the murder hallway. Come on, please don't miss anymore. <laughs> just by saying that. Ugh. Where do you think you're going, asshole? Yeah! Just throwing my stuff at him. That's a dead end. Yeah! Fucking rocking this shit. Pick it up! Stop dropping it! <laughs> Whew. Getting tense as fuck in here. Ooh, a grappling hook. That will be very much needed if I happen upon a pit, because then I can just use that to drop down to the... Uh, drop down to another level. Take my shield! No! Woo. Yeah, I'm not gonna be dumb and rush that shit. I hope for my sake I can find more rations, cause Ugh. I have a key for that. Oh, it's a murder room. Boosh. Just gonna keep throwing this at you and swinging at you with my other axe. You know, using my third arm. 
One hand, one hand has got a shield, the other hand has got an axe, and another hand is throwing a long sword that I was using. And this room's got fucking nothing! Wait, uh... If I remember there was a... Yeah, there was an alcove, and I just completely passed it. Topaz ring. Birch wand. Don't know what it does, but gonna find out. And... Click. Oh, it's a murder room. Which means I gotta go all the fucking way back. Or, was that a doorway? <laughs> Boosh. Oh, oh, okay, it's one of those stupid temporal teleporting kind of deals. Come on. Ugh, stop missing! You're gonna get me murdered! Oh, look, it's fucking nothing. Alright, how terrible thing does this read? Ah, uh, little helpful tips. I have a feeling I will never make it that far at this rate. Boosh! Okay! Now I need to remember how the fuck to get back there. Oh, God. <sighs> this is turning into a quest. Yeah, at this rate, with how the levels are going, I'm, I'm probably going to go ahead and make it so that, like, one level is one episode, because this is ridiculous. So many red dots. I, d I don't know how I'm going to get through that. Like, legit. I don't know how I'm going to get through that. And how in the f... Wait a minute. Is that an illusionary wall? Well, one way to find out. Gonna walk away. Fuck him. Yes, it is. And yeah, this is probably a bad idea, but fuck it. Throw it at him. Yeah. Oh my God, sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Oh, the next floor. All right, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're running pretty low. Uh, food, to say the least. We got no rations. Health is pretty low. <laughs> I'll be surprised if I survive the next uh, floor. But, fun little fact about old school RPG games is that often uh, what would come with the game itself, besides a supplementary, like, uh, book because they often didn't have enough space in order to include like much written text kind of deals is you know little booklets um, oftentimes as part of a security measure you would have to flip through the pages and type something very specific that they would hint about in the given book because it was a way of protecting against piracy they figure if you wind up having a copy of it then you're not going to actually have the answers. Mind you, I didn't have the answers. So when I was a youngin, it was pretty much guesswork, and there were very rare instances where I managed to uh, guess correctly. Um, but, uh, <laughs> thanks to the advent of the interwebs, among many, many things, I have a little cheat sheet right here, and on page 21 under the heading Pray for Spells. Should be... Where is it? Right there, and the word is examine. You see, if you fudged it three times, you would actually get booted out of the game. 
simple enough feature and very useful. Now, hopefully there won't be something big, bad, and terrible waiting for me on the other side of this staircase. Survey says... Alright! And if anything, it looks like I have complete control over the door. Yep. Which means whatever is grunting on the other side of that door can wait. Alright. Well, I think that about does it for this first episode. And I'm going to go ahead and rest. And I hope that y'all who are watching this are looking forward to the rest of this journey with me. Until the next one, peace.